As financially fit people analyze their habits in life as well as finances and work to break habits and cultivate good ones. They think about and choose the habits they want, need to achieve their life dreams. So let me get, give an example of this. Um, I like coffee. I like caffeine. I'll be frank with you. I uh, was going, I would every day, I would leave my house around two o'clock because around two o'clock I'd start getting tired um, and not really physically tired, just kind of mentally drained because by then I'd already been on the phone four or five hours and I needed a break. And so I would leave my house. I would go to Starbucks. Why do I like Starbucks? Because prior to COVID, they were really nice people. They loved seeing you. They smiled. They welcomed you. They really made you feel welcome. And, you know, it's just Sawyer and I at the house. And so I needed some adult time. And so every day around two o'clock or so, I would leave my house. I'd go to Starbucks, get an iced coffee. And then I'd go walk along the Boise River with my dog, take a 30 to 45 minute break. And then I'd drive home and I'd spend another four or five hours on the phone. That was my habit. Now, I can afford a $4 coffee. I can afford to drive there. And it wasn't even the coffee that I wanted. It was, I wanted to get out of the house and that was just my new habit. I haven't done that now in probably at least two months. Um, and here's why. Because I knew I was spending fuel to drive there. And I wanted to break that habit. Yeah, I can afford the $4 in coffee. That wasn't the point. The point was I wanted to break it. So what did I do? I just bought some Starbucks cold brew instant coffee. And I started making it the night before. And I'd put it in my refrigerator. And then when I started having that craving, I'd go down to the refrigerator. I put my cup of ice, dump in the ice, and I have my Starbucks coffee and I'd save $4 minus the 20 cents what it cost me to uh, make the coffee. So that was just how I applied principle 14. Now that doesn't mean I'll never drink Starbucks coffee and never go out again. It just means I wanted to break that habit of going and getting it every day.